I am coming out to show you my Dynatrap at dawn. So you can see it a little bit better. This thing is awesome. Everything you read about it does. Probably the highlights are it's totally quiet. There's no zapping. Uh, it doesn't use all that much electricity. Uh, I change the bulb every six to nine months just because that's what they tell me to do. Uh, but it absolutely does the job. So uh, totally weather resistant. They are right about that. The very first time it rained, I came out here and like covered it up. And another time I took it inside, but that's not necessary. It just stays outside all the time. Uh, the only thing I do is turn it off during the um, during the winter because it's, you're not catching very many bugs in the in the deep winter. So we live here in Texas. So depending on the season, you get tons of bugs, and this really does make a difference. Plus, I bought one for my neighbors on both sides uh, as gifts, so it's kind of helping me indirectly. But if you look in there right now, it's a ton of gnats and moths. This is the season of moths. Uh, there's also seasons where there'll be tons of June bugs, uh, other times it's stink bugs. Uh, mosquitoes, of course, uh, that's the best season to kill all those. So yeah, this is fantastic. The bugs fly to the top and they just get sucked in and they just stay there after it dries out every week or so. Like we, I emptied this last weekend, today's Friday. So after every week I take the baskets, usually like a half inch or an inch full of bugs. Some people have a whole lot more than that, uh, but I'll take the basket and I'll dump it for our chickens. They love it. So yeah, this is great. So weather resistant, um, works. What else? Yeah, it's awesome. I would absolutely recommend it. We got the three quarter acre. I, I think why not just get as big as you can? I mean, unless it's just, you just don't have space for it. Like just to look at it and you can see this is compared to my hand. I mean, you can see size here. Uh, it's big, but it hides over off to the side of this tree. So it doesn't really matter. But I'd say if you need a half acre, get, get a three quarter. If you need a, an eighth of an acre, get a quarter of an acre. I think it just helps. Uh, and you might as well have more. So it's awesome. Oh yeah, here you go. That's the exact model I got. Anyway, enjoy. It's fantastic.